Hey everybody, this is Highland Hedgehog Farm and we're going to show you today how we thin our lettuce for eating. So this is our patch of spinach, lettuce, and arugula that we put in at the end of February. And after we seeded it, we covered it with two layers of Agrabon um, light row cover just to get it started. And you can see that now that we've had some warmer weather, our non-bolt hardy spinach here at the end is bolting. And then the bolt hardy stuff is the stuff that is not bolting. So you can clearly see the difference there. We've had some 70, 75 degree days so far. Then we've got our gorgeous, this is black seeded Simpson lettuce. Um, this was sown, as you can tell, very thickly. We've actually already thinned this a little bit. And then our arugula here, which is also still bolting or started bolting. Um, we're still picking from this because mom still enjoys the flavor of it. But mom is going to show you how we thin our lettuce. Um, and we kind of thin as we go, eating it, and let the heads that remain get bigger for the next meal. So, Well, hello everybody. It's the end of April and it's time to really be thinning this out and taking out the bolted spinach and also ultimately the bolted arugula. After the arugula starts bolting, it gets almost to a mustardy taste. Um, and I like that in mixed in with the sweet lettuce. But what, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking out about every third head that's here so that we can eat it in the next couple of days and give it to some friends we have in exchange for his composted horse manure. This is a whole head now. We could just, if we wanted to, we could just take the leaves like this and, and leave this, but it's too thick right now to do that. Um, so we want to actually thin it out. If you can, you can get, see some holes where we did this maybe three days ago as mm -hmm. well. And right here, it's real thick, this area. And I'm going to go in one and actually two. And then I'm going to find the smallest one. And well, I guess I'll take this one and take it out. And now the others on either side, I'm going to take out any dead and damaged leaves, which you can see here. If you get down in, see the brown one and the yellow ones? I'll take those off and let the heads on both sides, that goes to the chickens. Uh, the heads on both sides will then fill in even more as we take the lower leaves. It'll also prevent slugs from coming in and snails. That's the biggest worry on lettuce like this. We don't do any spraying for the lettuce or the spinach. And we actually had some pak choy, uh, baby pak choy. Still have a couple over that there. That got, right there. Um, the flea beetles came in and one day I came out and there must have been a thousand flea beetles on the pak choy and they caused little, like they look like somebody took a pin and went through and made holes in the, in the leaves. It doesn't hurt the taste and when they're gone, they, they all disappeared together. Um, I think it was because we had another frost and we harvested the pak choy and sauteed it up and it was terrific. The, the holes don't matter, the bug holes. So. Um, you don't get them at grocery stores that way because they are commercial, they're undercover, and or they are sprayed highly with pesticides. So we're avidly thinning, thinning this. Oh, this has, if you can come in here close and right here we have a whole slew of individual little little uh, heads like this and I'm going to take several of them out and allow the bigger heads on both sides to expand. Oh, there's like five of them here. There's two. 
and that's going to allow them on and here's a, a third and a fourth one right here We're giving that to the chickens they love lettuce fresh lettuce always come to the garden with a chicken basket yeah and they're then also a compost basket the chickens are just right up the hill on our way back in up there so we just drop it off on the way and they come running okay you can see here in the hall here this is a fairly good size lettuce head. It's not forming a head like you see iceberg in the, in the grocery store, this one. But this is a tiny one that I had three or four others around it. I'm gonna leave that because now it has room to expand. This one is next to another large head and I'm gonna take that one out. So it's about every two or three small ones that are around uh, the big one and we'll leave the big one for the next harvest because it'll get it'll get thick and full.